Hey everybody, it's me, Aries Double Eighty Three. Uh, this is my new, well, my new phone. I'm making a new video. This is uh, the archivist. I'm gonna probably call it Long Bin One. I have to replace these two bins. Uh, I bought these at a store called National Wholesale Liquidators, and. Um, from years of being stacked on, uh, they're starting to swell. You see, this one's kind of chubby. This one has like a dent. So, I'm going to transfer this stuff to these new um, Home Depot bins. The bins that I like to use are 27 gallons. They have a 17 gallon one. Those are smaller but um the 27 gallons that's as big as, as as comfy as they get the bin the long bin we're looking at today is gonna be marvel universe stuff a lot of it is already in zip ba zip bags i started this practice of using ziploc bags i would buy them from uh 7-eleven i started this when I was building Gundam kits. But I wish I would have started before. Because I do have toys. That I have to organize. They're not in Ziploc bags. These are Superior Defender Gundams. And you can see. a uh, Fantastic Four. TV show thing. And here's some 12 inches. That These things I have to put. Into Ziploc bags. But at the time I started storing my stuff, I would just put them in. That's the Zazabi, and this is the new Gundam, the DP-02. There's the hand of somebody. I want to say that's Dr. Doom from the movie. Looking at his robe. Princess Leia's bush. So, let's start. Hopefully I could do this right away. Uh, if there are some figures that are in, in Ziploc bags, I'm going to put them on the table. Uh, uh, I'm going to put them here. I try not to show the rest of the mess, but it's two minutes in. Let's go. Right, so I got this. This is a Marvel uh, frame that I got as a gift. I put it at the bottom of the bin. For some reason, I kept a couple of Marvel Universe inserts. They come with the toys. World War Hulk, Spider-Woman. Um, here we have... I'm going to have to forgive the Cloverfield, Captain Marvel. And they had the little pictures here. I reviewed this line on YouTube. I mean, this wave. This is a uh, near Comic Con compound Hulk. Kept the card back. And he's right there, just laying face down. And here's uh, his little insert. I'm bending in a weird way for the camera to show up. So I'm going to fix this harness thingy and fix my back before I break it. Let's put this here. here. Let me curve this. So I can keep my back straight and look at the stuff. These are some comics that came with Marvel Universe 2 packs, comic pack comics, and here's the little advert that they had at the time. Good times. Thank you, Dave Vonner. <laughs> Compound hoax box. Galactus's instructions. Galactus. His batteries. Okay. 
more comics. These are from the Secret Wars comic comic backs. And here's a little ad. I'm going to try and keep my back straight. Otherwise, this isn't going to last long. Got a weapon here. Yeah, impossible man. Compound Hulk. 50 50. <laughs> This is Avengers, uh, Black Widow. It's a shame that now the articul the smaller figures, they're like, oh, let's go back to five points of articulation. But she was pretty rare. That's why I have her in my collection. Uh, ScarJo. She looks like ScarJo. So I'm going to put these things on the table over in here to zip bag them later. Compound Hulk. Oh, these. I still have a little soft spot for Marvel in my heart. But where Marvel Legends is, I can't catch up. And, um,. I'm not crazy about the MCU designs. The designs that they use in the movies, I do not like a lot of them. Captain America, awesome. Uh, first Iron Man's Mark III suit, awesome. War Machine's first costume, awesome. But they usually degenerate and they degenerate into ugliness. I didn't even like Moon Knight's design. But the stories are good. The designs suck. Here we got a Ziploc bag of some Marvel Universe guys. This is Marvel Universe Series 1. Oh, wow, look at that. This is uh, Silver Surfer from Galactus. We got the thing. Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel with long hair. Um, guessing that's an Iron Man. Yeah. Red Hulk. Union Jack. As you can tell, I am well versed in the Marvel Universe. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be a comic book artist or and a writer for them, but uh, it wasn't in the cards. Marvel Universe Series 2 have school uniform Wolverine, old timey cap. Uh, there's the translucent vision. Um, one of the wreckers. I don't know what his name is. And you got yellow jacket over here. Uh, aim soldier. The accessories and stuff are right here. Tentacles are that. Oh, that's Whiplash. I had to take it. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at it with my own eyes, but now I'm looking at it with my camera eyes. Iron Man, there's um, Warpath from X, X Force. There's a. Uh, Team X, Wolverine. All good figures. Colossus. Colossus up here. I think this is Kitty Pride. Yeah, Kitty Pride. Let's just put this away here. Iron Man 2. This is the series where I started collecting a lot of these guys. My first review was of the Iron Man um, Spider-Woman 2-pack. But I got those on clearance at Target. So that was like the beginning of the rabbit hole. But these guys are from Iron Man 2. 
you can see I got Ironmonger, the Hulkbuster armor is uh, Iron Man Mark III. Is this guy? I think this is a raft guard. Is modular Iron Man Whiplash from the movie Ivan Vanko. Titanium Man, I think this is old timey Iron Man, and uh, one of my favorite suits, Centurion Iron Man, Silver Centurion. He's Johnny Stark, he'll make you feel like the coolest cat with a heart of steel. <laughs> God, these are two, uh, 2011 comic pack accessories. I guess these are the comic packs, these are the accessories. <laughs> but you got, oh, what's his name? Captain America villain is Wolverine from Madripoor. You got Iron Man. Sweet Christmas. I mean, not Iron Man. Power Man. Friend of Iron Fist. <laughs> That's why I said Iron Man. There's brown and tan Wolverine in there. Deadpool. This Deadpool was sought after by a lot of people. Right, it's a uh, saber tooth. He's one of the better saber tooth figures because I like the long hair. <laughs> Got Iron Fist. Uh, there's Bucky Cap. His Cyclops. Silver Samurai and Spider Man. Got the Taskmaster who has a cool design. But for the movie, they said, you know what, truck it. We're going to go with some weird motorcycle helmet looking thing instead of a skull. Like I said, MCU designs suck. Uh, here's some Joes. I think I'm going to put these separate. I've been putting my G.I. Joes in a separate bin. Uh, but I didn't know these guys were in here. The label on the outside of my pack of the bin says Marvel Universe. So you got Glenda. Uh, this is, um, I think his name's Skydive. You got that... Um, Bounty Hunter guy with the mask. Not Matt Tracker. He came out at around the same time as Matt Tracker. But, yeah, these are Joe's. Yo, Joe. G.I. Joe needs to be reinvented real quick. Uh, here we have some more stuff. I don't know what this is. Um, there's the Rhino. Uh, these are Spider-Man figures. You got Venom. Ben Riley's sp um, Spider-Man. These are Spider-Man and Wolverine. Bum, 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 bum. There's a thing. Toxic Blast Venom. Venom, Venom, Venom. <laughs> a black suit Spider-Man. I got them both. See, this is Venom, Venom, and this is Spider-Man. Spider-Man! He's a menace! No Way Home was pretty good. These are Team 3 packs. Um, got Thor, barely. Uh, old-timey Iron Man. Yellow and old timey Hulk with the flat top. <laughs> sure, it's Jack Kirby Hulk. You got a Warpath in his X Force costume. 
I'm thinking that's Deadpool. Wolverine should be in there again somewhere. The Wolverine. Yeah. Yeah, here he is over here. Let's go, bub. Perfect fit. Uh, here we got fum, 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 fum. <laughs> Captain America Wave 2. Uh, these, I think it was a good time for Hasbro when the uh, um, MCU is starting out. They were every time a movie would come out, they'd come out with these uh, 3.5 guys. Got Captain Britain, Crossbones, that's his name. And uh, there's a movie cap. You can tell by the straps. This is a movie one cap. Fum, 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 fum. And you got cap in a coat. That's when they started running out of ideas. Bucky Cap over here. And the U.S. agent. Or the captain. Whichever you want to call him. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> here we got Marvel Universe uh, Toys R Us and Target exclusives. Um, we got, I think these were the little two packs. Here's a shield agent. There's some feet here. That this is probably a ninja. Yeah, you can see like a sword. Ninja, ninja. Who's this? Uh, Iceman. Iceman. Here's Wolverine. Let's go, bub. There's a Spider-Man there. Spider-Man! <laughs> and the Iron Man. Doop doop boop. Yeah, yeah. Secret Wars comic pack. So here you have the guys that I could get. It's a uh, door. Ben Grimm thing is Enchantress. Enchantress was on Agents of Shield, but I don't think she showed up in the MCU. There's a uh, Julia Carpenter, uh, Spider Woman, and James Rhodes, Iron Man. Uh, it's not a lot in here. Uh, there's one of the uh, one of the wrecking crew. No, my back's okay. So far, so good. My back is series three, wave fourteen. Marvel Universe had a weird way of like separating separating its waves but here you got falcon dr strange star of the multiverse of madness uh you got scar son of hulk there's dr doom and ben riley spider-man in his um original his first costume I am beginning to like the character of Doctor Strange as played by Benedict Cumberbatch. I can't wait to see the new movie, but because of COVID, I'm not going to the theater anytime soon. So it's going to be a while. I'll wait till he shows up on Disney+. Plus. At least it's not Spider-Man. This is uh, one of uh, animated RC's wings. 
There you go. The desk. A Marvel Universe collector figures with base. Um, Toys R Us had like this weird little line where you would get a light up base with these guys. The bases are somewhere around there, but these are just the figures. You got Iron Man in a suit that I don't like. That is Captain America, Bucky Cat. As you can tell by the black. There's Hulk. He's not happy to be encased in plastic. Um, I hope She-Hulk will be good. It should be more funny than action-based, but... That I think that's what they're going for. A lot of people, I've I've seen a lot of negative reactions, but CGI doesn't look that great. <laughs> but if the story is good, I don't care. All right, so got Wolverine Origins. That movie. Uh, the, uh, this and this, uh, an exclusive Colossus. Dastidania. Dastidania. <laughs> I love Colossus. And here's a Team X Wolverine. Well, this is like Stealth Wolverine. And um, there's brown costume Wolverine over here. He's encased in plastic. Rawr. And this camera, even though it's new, not good. <laughs> the amount of times it's focusing on stuff in the background is annoying. Yeah, this is brown and tan Wolverine. Um, Wolverine Origins is not a good movie, but if you can find the opening from the work print, not the real movie opening, but the opening from the work print is amazing. I loved it. Even though the music's better, but the CGI is worse. You got Series 3, Wave 16, Marvel Universe. Got Joss Whedon's Wolvie. Uh, there's Absorbing Man, who had a variant. I don't know if this was the variant or if the, the other one is. There's Iron Man. And, uh, armor. Uh, there's uh, Iceman. Ice Beam. And I think Doctor Doom is back here. See someone with a cape hiding behind Tony Stark. Maybe it's Kang. I think it's Kang. Come on, camera. Stupid camera. Yeah, you can see his bald head over here. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Kang the Conqueror. Future MCU villain. Let's hope they don't mess him up. <laughs> this is Series 3, Wave 15. Uh, you got X-23 over here. There's Namor, the Submariner. I think that's the way Stan Lee would say his name. It's Namer the Submariner. <laughs> yes. Um, Ultron is up here. And uh, Darkhawk. This is Spectre Creative's favorite, favorite character. I don't know if that's his costume, his favorite suit. But the X-23, I, I like this figure a lot. Very hot. <laughs> I got an extra one cut off her claws. She's somewhere around there. I think that's it in here. 
Um, oh, yeah. And there's Steve Rogers, Captain uh, Commander Steve Rogers. That's when Bucky Cap was coming around. And when he came back from being shot from Time Bullet. You know, I think he used the Time Bullet to come back. That was whack. He publicized his death for the attention. And then he comes back with a stupid time traveling bullet or something. There's a couple of loose guys that I got to zip up. This is a drone from, from Iron Man 2. Uh, this is an accessory I don't recognize. My camera's stupid. <sighs> Here we have Wave 13. This is the accessories. You got Jim Lee Cyclops, which is a good figure. This is Cable with Baby. Um, I know there was a variant of him. I don't know if it was like without baby or with baby. <laughs> you got uh, everyone's favorite peg warmer gladiator from the Royal Guard, the Shi'ar Royal Guard. There's a Wolverine in here. Uh, th I think this is first appearance Wolverine. And then you got Apocalypse, who has lips to kiss. Some of these, there's a blue guy in here that I can't make out. Some of these guys uh, were great, but a lot of them were like peg warmers. Oh, that's Apocalypse's foot. A lot of them were like... <laughs> like... Yay, I got Jim Lee Cyclops, and then everyone leaves Guardian. I don't know. Sometimes you can't listen to the fans. I'm pretty sure a lot of fans were like, we want Guardian. All right. Um, it's 27 minutes in. These are Marvel Legends. As you can see, here's the Mandarin. These are Toy Biz Marvel Legends that I own. I'll just count them out from here. I'm going to have to pull out the bag, put it on the table. I'll sort them later. But you got the, I think, Young Avengers. Uh, here's Hulkling. Uh, there's Iron Patriot. This is the Kingpin from a two-pack that, that came with, um, I think, Daredevil. You got Zig Jigsaw. It was like Arch Enemies was the name of the pack. Got Jigsaw in a Punisher costume. You can tell by his exposed head. There's the Mandarin. Here's Captain Marvel. Shield Agent. Now uh, here's now this is the Punisher. There's Emma Frost. I think this is the exclusive from Toys R Us. Yeah. Nobody wanted this thing. She <laughs> I think this is um, Parasite from DC Universe. And there's Superman. So these are assorted 7-inch, 6-inch uh, figures from DC and Marvel Legends. Just going to focus on this guy for a bit. This is Captain Marvel. He is not... I'm not going to be like, he's my favorite hero. He's one of my favorite heroes. He's like the one of the only heroes that died like a regular death. He died of cancer. I don't know if he came back, but Miss Marvel took the mantle of Captain Marvel. The movie they did kind of bring this character... Then I think the name was like Lawson. I want to say Dennis Lawson, but I think that's a, 
uh, Ewan McGregor's uncle. So they did bring like the character back as a, a mentor to Carol Danvers in the Captain Marvel movie, uh, played by Annette Bening. So, but this guy, I, I like him. As they said, he's, I think he's the only Marvel character that ever just died. Of, he died of cancer and he hasn't came back that I know of. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to have to leave this bin. I could try and maybe I could pull out some of this stuff. This is the G.I. Joe Raven. Uh, this is the little G.I. Joe um, jet. Um, it's a Cobra jet, but it was repainted for the Rise of Cobra movie. Now, let me see if right. let me just all right I'm gonna I'm gonna do these last bags but I think um this is Iron Man's rolling vehicle I did a review of this I did a review of this the Raven I did a review of this so you can check those out on my channel it was a long time ago, so the quality is not great. But if you want to check them out, I would appreciate it. So to end this, we got some more Marvel Universe here. We got the... This guy was... Sorry, I got to adjust my back and the phone. Uh, this is Archangel. He was very... He was like very hard to find i'm sure he he's very expensive on the aftermarket but he was like <laughs> scalpers loved him i'm glad i was able to get him his wings fold here's door i think this is olivia copio's door design he got the juggernaut it's great that juggernaut was just in the line he was in the, like an exclusive they did a two-pack of him and Colossus, him without the helmet, but just having the Juggernaut. Juggernaut crush. This is great. Got Thor. As I mentioned before, in his Olivia Copiel costume. Got the Mad Titan Thanos. Thanos. Thanatos. <laughs> and another Thor. I, I like the door design, so he was a peg warmer. That's why I got two. I picked up multiples. Uh, Marvel Super... Human figures are not as easy to customize as um, figures of robots. I guess that's why I don't collect a lot of superheroes or G.I. Joes or anything human looking because they're i can't customize them i'm not that good to customize them a robot that's easier here's series 3 wave 12 you got world war hulk one of the best sculpts uh, my favorite spider woman jessica drew and my favorite one of my favorite heroes um captain marvel it's the better version. The Toy Biz one, he has a weird posture, but yeah. When next to last, you got Captain America Wave One, the first Avenger. Bom, fa, 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 fam, fam, bom, fa, fa, fam. Here you got a Hydra soldier. This is, I think this is a flame guy. Here's a parachute. <laughs> the shape of the Captain America's shield. Which is cool. Got Captain America. I think this is... Yeah, it's movie version Captain America. Here's an accessory, like a flying backpack.
here's um, some weird Captain America armor. It looks kind of cool, but I don't recognize it as a character. And uh, I think this is like Bucky Cat. Or, no, this is Ultimate Captain America. And, um, and Captain America up here. Tradition of Captain America. And the World War II Captain America. I, I loved this design for the longest time. But, yeah. Captain America. <laughs> it was a great time. <laughs> um... You guess to collect Hasbro superheroes. And finally, the last bin. The last bag I have. First class comic packs. You got um, Sentry and Spider-Man. Got brown and tan Wolverine. There's a Iron Man in here. And uh, Olivia Copiel door. And a classic cap. I'm pretty I don't know who it's paired with who. Uh, this is Spider-Man. That it would be Miles Morales Spider-Man, but I don't think Miles Morales existed back then. And Sentry. I think the saber tooth that I that I showed before. Oh, no. Wolverine and Captain America were were together because they were looking at Caps a shield and it has uh, claw claw marks on it. Came with the comic. Ah, so thirty eight minutes in. All this is not organized, <laughs> but I have I'll get it organized. Thank you for for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Um. I am working on getting making more content, so I'm not going anywhere for a while. Um, today's Wednesday. Uh, I think Wednesday, it's Wednesday the like 15 for something. Uh, tomorrow, Thursday, I might live stream. Depends. Um, guy from Spectrum, Kate, uh, Spectrum, our internet provider, is supposed to show up. Uh, hopefully he shows up. Hopefully I'll get some sleep. But tonight I work. Tomorrow night I work. We'll see what happens. But until next time, try to enjoy the daylight. Bye.